hey guys welcome and welcome back to my channel again this is daisy and for today's video this is going to be my daytime go-to glam soft glam look i always like do a soft glam in the morning or daytime because i just want it to be daytime appropriate and also work appropriate but i just always change up the eyeshadows that i use and also the lipsticks that i use every every single day so today I'm actually pairing it up with a, a bold lipstick but normally it's really neutral and just natural looking lipstick but tonight I just feel like I don't care it's a video so let's go ahead and pair bold lipstick and if you do wanted to see how I created this look then go ahead and keep right. on watching. First thing we're gonna do is shave our face. I have not shaved my face in forever in my foundation my makeup is not gliding onto my face as smooth as it used to be so let's go ahead and just shave that really quickly and then we're going to spray this new rose spray water from garnier just to hydrate my face and refresh my face it's just it's so hydrating and refreshing on my face so and i'm going to do my eyebrows first because you know i'm looking a little crazy I'm going to use my Milani Cosmetics and I'm using it in dark brown right now. And for eye for eyeshadows, we are going to use this Becca Cosmetics. I'm going to use the lighter shade in the middle and it's just going to be my eyeshadow all over. I just want to use this as a base of my eyeshadow. I'm not using too much eyeshadows today. We're going to make it really soft and just really natural glam. And I'm going to go in with that burnt orange from Modern Resins as my outer um, eyeshadow. It's, I'm going to use these mostly on the outer, an outer V of my eyes and I'm going to blow that up so it looks really, really deep. I just really want to put a, a little definition on the out, outer crease of my, my eyes. And let's just go ahead and keep blending. That's the secret of this eyeshadow. Keep blending and blending and blending. And I'm going in with my Double and Trendy from Colourpop Cosmetics using that Locked and Loaded. And I'm going to use that, I'm going to put that um, on the inner corner of my eye all the way to the outer just to make my eyes pop and look more awake. And it's like I said, it's going to be really simple and I love this eyeshadow because it's not very shimmery. And using my Juvia's Place Amazon eyeshadow, I'm grabbing that shade Nino, Nino and create um, like a cat eye eyeliner effect because I really suck at eyeliners. So this is what we're going to do. I'm using a really small brush and just create... Um, a cat eye eyeliner effect and if you do mess up all you have to do is just spray your um, eyeliner or angled brush with water or whatever or a makeup remover and then just cut the corner of your of your cat eye or eyeliner and make it to make it look more sharp or sharper you know what I mean okay whatever I'm talking too much and after that I am going in and just blend them out smudge it out and we're putting um a primer onto our face first i do have a lot of texture right now so i'm gonna focus out on my t-zone i'm using my Too faced hydrating primer of course and i'm loving this foundation it's from beauty bakery it's called the insta bake foundation i'm using a damp beauty sponge make sure that it's damp so it's locked onto your face and makes your foundation look even and flawless this foundation is nice anyway. It's going to make it look like it was photoshopped whatsoever. And after that, I'm going in and I'm really going in with a concealer today. I know it's nighttime, but if normally I have this kind of texture in my face, I really want my concealer to hide all that um, bumps underneath my eyes. So let's go ahead and use our Too Faced concealer and just pack it all on. And I'm going to use again a be damp beauty sponge to blend that 
out. I really need to blend this out to cover the, imper the imperfections, those whatever texture in my face. And we are going to set our T-zone. And using, I'm gonna use my Beauty Bakery Flower setting powder just to set my T-zone, but I'm gonna use a different um, translucent powder to set the entire face, my entire face. I'm going in with a Morphe translucent powder to set the rest of my face, like my forehead and my cheekbones, whatsoever, just the rest of the face. And for bronzer, I'm kind of excited because I got this Makeup Geek bronzer. And man, look at the payout of this bronzer. <sighs> oh my god, it's holy moly. It's so pigmented and it's just so perfect on my skin. And as you can see, if you don't, I don't know if you can tell, but it looks so structured. I look like, I don't know, I'm just bronzing it, but look at that. It looks like I'm just glowing and I'm just being, just, just have that sun-kissed glow. And for blush, I'm going to use my Kiko Milano in shade 107. I think it's called Soft Blush. I forgot, but I'm going in. Okay, I'm really heavy-handed right now because it's nighttime. So I'm going to go keep blending that until it looks really soft. And I don't look like I got punched in the face by my fiance. I'm going back in with Mino and just... Um, get a flat brush, flat, flat definer brush, and just put it on the lower outside of my lower lash line, just really, really tightly on the outside, and then smudge it out with a pencil brush. Okay, I just got a new mus mascara too, so I'm trying this ColourPop mascara, it's BFF, and it's been out for a while, but I'm not going to focus on my upper lashes because I'm going to pop on some falsies, so really it's just going to be in my lower lash line or lower lashes, it's really too big <laughs> for my lower lashes anyway, but it's really, it's really nice, okay? And then going in with that JVS Amazon palette, I'm taking in that shade, I totally forgot what it's called, but that's the lighter shade, it looks like a highlighter, so I can highlight my inner corner and my brow. and then I don't know what I'm doing whatever I heard it's something Jessie. I'm watching Jesse from Disney Channel I'm sorry I'm such a child okay and then I'm going in with this bite beauty lipstick it's vegan if you guys are a fan of vegan lipstick cruelty free products I suggest giving bite beauty and it smells so damn good I've already talked about this before and it really really smells so good I just want to use it today because it's really really bold and it's that pomegranate raspberry shade and it matches the it matches the eyeshadow and then i'm going in with this becca cosmetic champagne pop collection um for my highlight i'm going in with that champagne pop and mix it with that golden shade right there and of course we're popping on some uh, some falsies i've been really good at this now so i'm kind of excited it's not that hard to put it on anymore. Thank God. All right. And after falsies, that's the, that's the last of it. We're just going to set our face. And I'm going to use my Urban Decay Setting Spray to set my face. And there you go, guys. That's it. All right. So now it's dry. That completes the look. I hope you guys enjoy watching this video. If you do, please give this video a like and don't forget to subscribe to my channel. Also, if you have Instagram and Facebook, please follow me and I will definitely follow you back. And if you do have um, a YouTube channel as well, just put it down. Um, put it down below, put it in a comment, and I'll go ahead and check out your channel. Let's go ahead and support each other. But Again, thanks so much for watching and I hope you guys enjoy this and I'll see you on my next video. Bye! And for today's video, I am going to um, create or recreate my, my... I know I'm sitting like this. Whatever. Hey guys, 